guys, it's Danielle, and today is December 1st, and I'm going to be going to get my final installment of microblading. As you guys can see, these are my brows right now. I'm going to show you guys really quickly um, what they've looked like this whole time. Okay, you guys, so this was August 30th. On the left was my brows my whole entire life, what they look like. On the right is right after I got them done on August 30th. So as you can see, like they're fairly light, but they're there. Like it's definitely more than before. So I went for my touch up on October 11th, but on the left is what they looked like when I went for the touch up. So they basically faded completely. After I got the touch up, it's on the right what my eyebrows look like. And now present day is what you see right here. Now I'm about to go get the third session and then I will sit down and tell you guys. So for those that are not familiar, let me give you guys a couple more details. For one, you're only supposed to have to do two sessions of microblading, the original and then the fill-in. So that's number one. Number two, I followed aftercare to the T. Like I did not do anything I was not supposed to do. I kept them dry literally all the time. So for them to fade that much was the results not coming out as expected. I want you guys to know that. And even me right now, present day going to get them done, they still are faded more than they should be turns out they were actually even more faded and we're gonna get into that so just stay tuned that's about my experience with microblading as a whole so let's go mm, all right y'all so i'm here i'm feeling a little emotional because i'll talk about it like more in depth later if it becomes one of those things but i feel i made an y'all i feel like somebody's trying to play with me i feel like someone is trying to scam me and it's it's actually pissing me off but this video is not about that. I'm outside the microblading place now, y'all. I wanted to give you one last look at my brows. And then I will come back and show you guys the after. All right, guys. So I am done with the microblading. And honestly, let me tell you guys. So I'll insert like a quick little short form video of the process. Here we are. This was the sketch, and this is also when she told me she was doing a combo brow, not microblading. Combo brow means she's doing micro shading and microblading. This was the numbing cream, lasted about 15 minutes. Then she did this. As you can see, this is micro shading, guys, not just microblading. It hurt a little bit more than microblading. The whole process took about an hour. Didn't expect that, but this is how it came out. But... I also just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience. So before I came here, I showed you guys how they looked after the first session, how they looked after the second session. And I didn't recognize that when I went in today, the only reason they looked a little bit thicker than the last times was because I made sure not to get any water on them at all. So there was actually a lot of dead skin on my brows. So I was talking to her and she was basically saying that my skin is not picking up the strokes from the microblading and it's not a complexion issue it's not a skin type issue my skin is not dry or oily so she actually didn't know why it wasn't picking up the strokes so she suggested that this time we do a combination brow instead of just microblading so I showed you guys earlier on in this video what my eyebrows looked like after the first microblading what they looked like after the healing for that what they looked like after the second microblading, what they looked like after the healing for that, which was when I just went in today. And now we're on the third try, but this time instead of microblading, it was a combination, which means that it's a combination of microblading and micro shading. Micro shading uses a different needle and it's like different types of strokes. Like I can't tell you guys the specific difference, but it it is a different method. So she did a combination of that this time and it it looks essentially the same as when i got them microbladed but it's micro shading here and then the strokes here it's just the difference between what looks like a pencil stroke and what looks like almost like a marker so they're gonna um go through the same healing as before like i can't do any liquid on them for two weeks and then after that, I can start washing them. So this is what it's giving. If I take off my band so that you guys can just get like a full picture. I don't know what my lace is doing right now. Okay. It's not terrible. But like this is her. So 
I don't hate it. I think they look cool. Um, having brows after the um, healing is always crazy because I realize how much um, they faded. And then I'll put lashes on maybe later today. But this is what it's giving y'all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll show you guys me one more time when I get home in some better lighting. First of all, how pretty are these flowers from Trader Joe's? Like, and they're not dying. Usually flowers die with me like very quickly. But anyway guys, I'm back at home and I wanted to give you guys a full look of the brows. They look like this. Let me just zoom in. combination brows with lashes of course it'll maybe look a little bit more like a full face but um that is what we got so if this video helped you guys and you know learning about microblading and micro shading then please give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you've ever had an experience similar because i don't know why mine wasn't taking or you know what i was going through or whatever the case might be but i'll keep you guys updated with this journey and do an updated one in about a month and a half telling you guys how these brows last. But you'll also see them because this is Vlogmas. So you'll see another video from me. But yeah guys, this was everything I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Bye.